What's up guys, the Lost One Gaming here and welcome to a brand new game called Salix. So, this game is sort of like, um, if you guys have ever heard of the guild, it's kind of like that. Or the guild too. Did I just choose male? I choose male, right? One or two. I guess I decided to include the uh, character creation here, although it's very limited. The reason why I know that is because I came in and kind of played through a little bit, like maybe for about two hours before I actually recorded uh, this episode. So I, I do know a little bit about the game. Um, which hair do I want? Does it really matter? Not really. My guy looks so old right now, though. Do you have to look this old? <laughs> I guess that works, right? It's, it's pretty much the same thing. Whatever. Let's do... Let's do dark hair. And random beard that looks kind of weird. They're supposed to be um, updating the, the character models and the textures in the future. Although I think my computer right now has this running about... It's not on high. I think it's like medium or average or something like that. I think that's what it said. None of this really matters, though, does it? What is my character name gonna be? Hmm. Let's see it. I picked this last time when I was, like I said, playing through. So, I can't exactly remember what the true name was. I know his first name was Lysander, but I can't remember what the... What is... I can't remember what it was. It was something Berg. We'll just say Landberg or something. I don't care. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Starting money, we're going to start with 10,000. Is there anything more or less? You can start with as little as 4,000. You can start with 8,000, 10,000, 4,000. You know, last time I started with 10,000, maybe I should start with 4. That makes it a lot more difficult, though. You know? Let's do it. I'm going to start off poor. <laughs> I'm going to start off poor. Normal day length, we'll do 4 days per season and years to pass after four seasons one so this is gonna make it like pretty long of a let's play series which is fun i guess i need something to play long term england 880 a.d for creative reasons the names and locations of villages towns and hamlets are completely fictional but not unrealistic the, top yeah, the topography of the map will also differ substantially from the actual locations now currently this game is in early access so there's only two uh, locations apparently Wilton sir and East Sea accident I'm gonna go with Wilton sir because apparently only half of this one is available and I don't want to do like a half unplayable map <laughs> so we've got Wilton sir there's three different areas that we can go to this one is Barrowham Norbury and Leestead I think I think I want to start in Nurb Norbury. I believe all of these are pretty much connected though, so even if you start in one, you can still get to the other one. It's just, it takes longer, because this, um, it involves travel with carts, so pretty realistic, I guess. During stormy weather, any workers who work outside would be less productive. Now, I don't know how I'm going to function with this 4,000 coins. I shouldn't have done that because it was already tough enough for me to do it with 10,000. So I'm trying to imagine trying to make this work with 4,000. There are areas in this game where you can make money right off the bat, I guess, with 3,000. I believe the bakery costs 3,000 to start with. But I might not even really be able to do that because I also have to pay workers have to get supplies and so on and so forth but we shall see we shall see all righty here we go i don't know why i randomly turned scottish or whatever the frick that random accent was but here we are this is my house what it's it's average it's nothing right now. I'm just sitting outside and there's nobody really around, is there? There's a couple people, I guess. Whoever that guy is. He's 33 years old. Business owner. Alton family. 
I think the names have changed from the last time that I played it. I don't know anybody, apparently. Because I haven't been out enough. Okay. I guess I'll have to see. Let's see. What can I purchase right off the bat? There is the ale house. It's unowned. It's 3,000 gold for the ale house. The last time I did this, I didn't buy anything at the start, so I was like left picking up the pieces of everything else that everybody had already bought. <laughs> so the ale house is 3,000. Um, how much is the flower mill? Flower mill is 2,500. Uh, how much is the this is the butcher? I can't click it. Let me click it. Please. Let me click. Uh, it doesn't want to let me do it. I don't know why it's doing this right now. Now I can't even. Come on. The butcher. How much is the butcher building? 3,000. So I believe the cheapest place. And it's raining in this game like crazy. It sounds crazy. The storms are brewing. How much is the mine? I, I guarantee you this is a lot, because I think iron is like one of the most valuable things in the game. I can almost guarantee that's worth a lot. I can't click on it though. I guess it, it's pretty much telling me you're too broke, you can't even afford it. There we go. 6,000. Oh uh, yeah, I definitely don't have enough for that. I think we're going to start with the mill house. I, did they just buy that already? You gotta be kidding me. They stole it from me already. Was there another one down this way? I don't know. Maybe we'll have to do the ale house then. <laughs> I'm running out of options here, so I have to make a choice fast. Before everybody buys everything else from me. So we got the butcher for 3,000. The ale house for 3,000. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> decisions, decisions, decisions. Let's do the ale house. Why not? 3,000 gold. We only have 1,000 left. Oh, boy. Let's see how this turns out. Production and storage. Right. Do we make anything here? What do we make? I'm not sure we... Oh. We make oats, apparently. We make oats. We can make porridge. So we make food, okay. That's good, that's good. 100 and I believe this is seconds or minutes in this game. I'm interested. Can I not get anyone to make oats though? Or do I have to don't tell me I have to buy the oats for the market. I don't want to have to do that. <laughs> Church bells ringing. They want me to go pray. Should I go pray to the good Lord? And thank him for my business endeavors? Maybe I should. Where's the church? I shall go there immediately. I shall thank him for my... Yeah, there we go. I shall go and pray. I shall thank him for everything that he has given me thus far. Although, literally, he's given me debt. <laughs> he's given me debt. That's all I've received is debt. Look at all the people. Look at all of them. They're running to the church. What is this? Is this chicken? It is. We got chickens. We got pigs. We got stuff that I can't own because I'm poor. I'm 19 years old and I can barely, I barely have a job. And the rain is pouring down so bad and it makes me want to go inside. But in this game, it's... I, I won't say it's like Sims. I said, it's its like the guild. Um, you can start families. You can have businesses and stuff like that. So, it's pretty interesting. I think I'm going to enjoy this. I've already enjoyed it thus far from what I have played. Which was like two and a half hours. I was already sucked in to the point where I wanted to play. Like, all at night. But it's late now, so I need sleep. So I'm going to try and record these. Probably two episodes of this, and then I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to go back to my, my, my ale house. Let me see. What, what are we doing here? At 30 seconds or 30 minutes left until we produce some more porridge. 
Like I said, I'm assuming that we have to buy the oats. Let me go to the market. Let me see how much the... Where's my ale house again? It's over this way. This is my ale house, right? Yeah. Owned by the Landberg family, which consists of one person. So let me see. In the market, how much are oats? Oats are 17... 17 coins. I don't know what the money system is, so I'm just going to call it coins. Gold, I'm sorry, I think that's what it is. Gold. 17 gold. I guess I could just buy all that they have. <laughs> I could buy everything they have and then just take it back. I have a tiny cart, okay? I have a cart. So I'm going to... I'm going to do it with a cart. Let me... One of your alehouse workers dropped a crate of supplies on the floor, spilling them everywhere. After taking time to dust them off and remove the rats, the supplies were ready. Ew! They just threw it in the... Ugh, that's nasty. Okay. Production has slowed now. Great. You know what? I should fire the both of you for that. But I won't do that. I should, but I'm not going to. To be honest, the alehouse isn't going to make much money. Because, um, the porridge is worth, like, 24 coins. Uh, I keep saying coins. Gold. And we have to pay 17 just to get the oats. So we're only making, like, a 7, seven gold profit from the porridge. There's got to be something else I can do. There's got to be something else. Okay. There's a brewing cellar that I can do need, but I have to have 1,500 coins. I keep saying coins, I mean gold. The rain, the thunder is so loud, good God. I need to turn that down. Oh my goodness, I can't hear myself think. Seriously, that is too loud. Well, there we go. That was annoying, okay. Am I still at the church? I am still at the church. There's a monk outside praying. There's two monks outside praying. And there's, what is this? Let's look at, there's bees out there or something. Can I talk to the monks? What would the monks have to say to me? He's 19 too. I can't talk to him because he's working, I guess. I don't know exactly what he's doing. I guess he's praying. If you call that praying, I don't really, I don't know. Never mind. I'm going to leave it at that. How are you doing, sir? Look at the child. Look at him. He's 11 years old. From the Churchill family. Winston, this is Winston Churchill's long lost, uh, not long lost. These are his uh, ancestors right here. The Churchill family, I'm assuming. <laughs> Back to the alehouse I go. I'm just gonna look and we're just gonna be out of stuff to do. Yeah, really soon, really soon. Now the cart, how do I get somebody to... Uh, I guess I'll assign her to the cart. Now, I need the cart to go to the market. Which market was that that I was near? Let me, let me go to the tab again. We're near this market. Norbury Market, okay. Alright, so... I need you to drive that cart. When you drive that cart, I need you to take it to the... I can't click it now, god dang it. Travel to market, which isn't that far. It shouldn't take you long. It's literally right there. I can see you. Don't lollygag around. I will fire you. You've already wasted my supplies today, so I mean seriously. Where's my character at? He's still praying. <laughs> He's still praying. I'm going to have him go supervise um, the ale house. Oh, dang it. That's not what I meant to do. Alright, I took the... Is the cart here now? Can I buy supplies now? I should be able to get supplies. Where's the cart? Where'd the cart go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I need supplies. Um... No, I don't need to sell anything. I need to buy things. There we go. 
Um, let's take all of the oats and take and put them in the cart. That was 200, 200 gold for all the oats that they had. Oh, we've sold, we've bought them out. And as if it's gonna make much of a profit to us. I don't know why I'm taking on this random voice now. <laughs> I have to speak in the times, okay? Forgive me. Now you can travel back to the, uh, the ale house. Offload all goods, there you go. I'm sitting here supervising now. A traveling merchant has recently been seen setting up camp in the area. They will remain here until the start of autumn. Good for them. I don't even know. It's spring. They're going to be here summer, fall, and three more seasons. Why are you chilling? Go back to producing now. You can, you can go back to doing what you were doing. You don't have to drive the cart anymore. How much porridge do we have? Twelve? That's, uh, 200-something gold. Stop driving the cart. You don't have to drive the cart anymore. Don't drive the cart. There. Produce me porridge. 732. Now, one thing about the ale house, though, is it stays open really late. Because I think most of the other places that I've, you know, seen in the game, they only stay open until, like... 14 or 1700 so you get like an extra three hours out of it which is good i guess that's why it's kind of cheap and you know you can produce a lot i guess in a short amount or a long amount what whoever stoked the whoever stoked the alehouse fire today did a very good job as it is warmer than normal i read that when I first saw it, and I was like, wait, did somebody get fired? And I saw it again, I was like, wait, did the place catch on fire? <laughs> I got scared. Because you can't actually burn places in this game. Like, people, if you make people upset, they can, like, burn your stuff down. Like, burn your house down, burn your business down. Like, for instance, right here. I could break in someone's house, I could start a fire. But I'm not going to do that, because I'm a nice person. I'm an honest man, making an honest living. Okay? That is my... Why does his name sound like Athlete? Athletstan. Who names their child that? And again, my guy's name is Lysander, so I can't talk. I have no room to talk at all. Let's see. What have we got now? We got 16 porridge. How much are the upgrades for this? Additional shelving, further upgrading in the whale house. Eh. The whale house? We don't make whales here. The ale house inventory. 300 for inventory. 300 for workspace. Hmm. I barely have money. So, <laughs> maybe we'll wait a couple days before we do that. I think that's what I'm going to do. What time is it now? It's currently 20. Is that the end of the day for us there at the well? Yeah, hey, I keep saying whale. Ale house, yeah, that's the end of the day for us. We were able to produce 16 porridge in one day. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the cart. It's gonna almost fill it up. Can't do anything with the cart though. All right, I guess I'm gonna send my guy home for the day. There's nothing for him to supervise anymore. You can go home. It's been a good day. This is my little house here. My guy hasn't made it here yet. What was that sound? It sounds like sim language. That's why I've been mentioning sims. It sounds like that language. I've unfortunately had a couple glitches in this game already. Of course not during this let's play though, but I've had one where I had my guy, he was flirting with someone and he went in their house and um, he got stuck there and I couldn't get him out and he was just there forever. So I had to quit and uh, start over anyway, so that's why I'm starting this Let's Play too. 2100. It's spring 880 AD. Now, apparently there's supposed to be like wars and stuff. I don't know if that starts now or whether that's later on in the game. Like once they get it, you know, more developed and not in early access. There's supposed to be wars and that's why there's guards and stuff. And of course the guards are trying to stop people from pickpocketing and and uh, burning places down 
But they don't always do their job because I've seen places burn down. What was that? Oh, we just... Do we have to pay our wages already? God dang it. We're at 500 gold. 500. Already. Running a business is not easy, it seems. And the game is auto-saving. I don't think it's gonna work out for me too well. What if I have to sell the business already? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna tell my mother? My mother? Who is my mother? Who is my father? I don't have parents. I'm an orphan. Dear God. What am I supposed to do now? You know what? I'm, I'm going cynical. But um, <laughs> I'm going to end it here, guys, and I will see you in the next one.